I got a bunch of hermit crabs. Nice sized ones too. My. Are you ready for this? <laughs> That's not a hermit crab. Dude. What is going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. I got a call from my buddy Chris from Shark Addicts this morning and he said, Nick, we got a bunch of wildlife out right now at the dock. So Chris has his boat at a dock that's like right like by a sandbar. And on that sandbar, a lot, a lot of wildlife likes to feed and likes to use it as a home. He asked me, he's like, you wanna go get your dive stuff and go diving for a little? I said, of course. So what we're gonna do is head over to Chris. He's gonna kinda explain to us what's going on once we get there. And then we're gonna go in the water and see what we can find. I got all the nets ready. I got a bucket. So if we do end up catching something like a lionfish, which if you do see a lionfish in the wild, you are supposed to kill them or remove them. In that case, we will remove it from the wild and add it to our pool pond or something, just so we don't have to kill it but I'm not gonna talk anymore let's get over to Chris and head in the water we are here and there's shark addicts over there Chris on his boat we're gonna see what he's got in store for us today so this is kind of what I was telling you guys about this is the dock you walk up and then you have this little sandbar area and this is where you see the turtles stingrays hermit crabs everything just kind of makes this either a home or they feed here and Chris right next to me yo Chris Basically explain what you just said to me. Well, I mean, we got like a, at the dock here, every morning we get here early, we got like a little mini ecosystem here. So we'll have, uh, we got a little uh, green sea turtle that likes to kind of call this place home. There's some structure over there at the end of the dock that he likes to kind of go up underneath and take his little naps. Uh, we've got lionfish up and down all the, uh, yeah, the pilings and everything, crabs all over the place. But I was here earlier in this morning and um, and I saw some hermit crabs like walking around. I was like, might be some good stuff that we can legally take, you know, to put in the tanks or something. Mm -hmm. so. so yeah, as you just heard from Chris, there's a lot of cool stuff around this dock. So we're gonna head in the water. We're gonna get our fins on, get the cameras ready and get the nets and see what we can catch around this area. Also, quick shout out to Florida Free Divers for hooking it up with the dive stuff. So already I see a bunch of little pilchards. I don't know if the camera is picking them up, but they're down there and there's a bunch of them. So that's a good sign. All right, so we are now in the water and it's probably about like, I would say a foot and a half right now. It's not too deep, but that is the good part about it because we can see really, really good in this water. So we're gonna basically right now, we're staying in the shallow waters. Chris is over there in more of deeper water looking for bigger creatures. I'm over here looking for more like little small hermit crabs, snails, just cool invertebrates. Now I did bring the GoPro with me. So once I get underwater and I'm not able to bring the high quality camera, I will bring the GoPro underwater. Cause like I said, this is a sandbar. So it gets, it's really, really shallow and stuff will come on this little sandbar to feed or even hide or it could be their home. For example, Chris said he um, has a green sea turtle. It's probably about a foot foot big, let's say a large dinner plate size. I saw him yesterday. Chris told me before I even saw him, he's like, yeah, we have, what, you got something? Yeah, 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 tiny. Oh, Chris has got something. Tiny what, hermit crab? Yeah, a tiny little hermit crab. It's just crazy how small they can get. Oh my, oh. So Chris actually just found a little, little hermit crab right here. Tiny, tiny one, but that is sick. That's a, first, that's a good start. Good, good start, start yeah. Starting small, we'll get bigger. So yeah, like I was saying, I came out shark diving with Chris yesterday. Absolutely insane. On my way up to the dock, Chris said, yo, we have a sea turtle that like hangs around here. And like, I see him every morning. He'll just, he's just like a, a mascot for shark addicts. It's pretty funny because, ow, I just got bit by a crab. I just got bit by a crab. Pinched the crap out of my foot. Crab just pinched the crap out of my foot. Pinched me so bad. But yeah, back to what I was saying. I'm sorry, I know I keep getting off the topic, but as we were coming back in from shark diving, which was absolutely a blast, we saw the green sea turtle and he was like probably the size of a big dinner plate. And um, he literally just swims around the boat, comes up, doesn't leave the area. So this is kind of like his little home. And he comes here around like early mornings and then there's a seagrass. If you look really, really closely, there's seagrass all in the water. And that is actually what that sea turtle is feeding on. And all these little hermit crabs and stuff make that their home. And the, and the sea turtle will, will actually even feed on hermit crabs and stuff like that. Bunch of little fish I see. I don't know if you guys can see them, but they were all along this beach. And it looks like the sand perch that we actually fed to our bumblebee grouper. So, oh boys, I found, all right, I just found the money hole. Chris, I got a bunch of hermit crabs. Nice size ones too. Right here, two of them. Actually a really decent size, there's two. Or there's like three of them. Oh yeah, you One, two. push around there. Those are all good size. Yeah, that's those really are. Big. That's a big one. That's one of the biggest ones I've ever seen. Mm -hmm. Chris is grabbing the hermit crab right now. Whoa! Did he have another one inside of him? I don't know. I don't know what that is. I th maybe he was like holding on to a rock or something. 
He's, in he's deep in there. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. We'll put him on land, and then he'll probably we'll come watch out, him crawl out. And we'll watch him. Yeah, we'll wait for him he's to come out. He's got all kinds of sand and water in there. That's that's home for sure. Yep. <laughs> so that's what we meant by like this. See this piling right here? I walked right up to it, and they actually were underneath it. There's another one on there too. There's a bunch on this piling. Holy crap! And there's another one over here. A bunch of sea snails too. Look at this hermit crab. This one has like a different shell to it. Oh yeah. So that's one that's in his shell. Bunch of wildlife down here. There's actually a stone crab to the left of me and then a, another little arrow crab below me. Ah, something just bit my foot. Chris is still in the water. I just got out. As you guys saw from that GoPro footage, there is a lot of wildlife down there. We got fish, we got invertebrates, we got hermit crabs everywhere. Got some poachers down there. I'm trying to find that turtle for you guys. Cause he usually comes around this area and I'm not seeing him. What is it? Dude, this is the, we, 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 hit, we hit the grand what slam. What is it? Like it's, it is the biggest hermit crab I've ever seen in my entire life. No like, way. Like world record. Just All right, I'll meet you at the dock, over here. My. Are you ready for this? <laughs> that's not a hermit crab. Dude, I saw it, I was like, that's gotta be like the world's fastest conch shell. What? All right, look at this, put it next to your head real quick so they can see. I saw it like moving, it was like walking around real fast, like that's the fastest conch shell. So for everybody that's watching, this is, this is a typically like a conch shell with that a conch animal would be. They take over, they took it, yeah. over the conch shell. Yeah, that's so, what I was saying. So the conch is out, he is in, is the biggest hermit crab I've ever seen in my entire life. And it was like scooping <laughs> around. It? it was like taking off. It was right in the flats over here. It was like taking off. I was like, that's the fastest conch shell I've ever seen in my life. Like I've never seen one move that fast. And then I saw like I get closer, like through the murk, and I just see these legs. I'm like, that ain't no conch shell. Dude, I want to get it, see if we look, can get a close look. How look how huge those claws, yeah, those claws are. Whole and that is an old hermit crab. You see all the barnacles growing on yeah, the man. shell? Holy, that thing has to be, what, five years old? Oh, I'm, I, dude, I wouldn't even be able to tell. You'd have to ask a scientist. Yeah. But if you guys know what kind of species of hermit crab this is, comment down below and let us know, because we just found this thing, and it's absolutely massive. Let, let's put it up on the dock. Let's see if we can get this thing like out of its out shell, of the walking shell, around, yeah, yeah, so they can see it. So that right there is the size of a normal hermit crab. That right there is the size of a giant hermit crab. And shout out to Chris for finding it. If it wasn't for him, we would have never found this thing. So shout out to Chris. If you guys want to check his channel out, it will be in the link down below. Go check him out. He also does a bunch of shark diving. So if you want to see that, it's not just hermit crabs and catching stuff. There's some awesome shark, you can go shark diving. Go on that boat and come out with us. We're going to walk away because they get scared of us when we're... Oh, wait, maybe not. That guy's on the move right there. But anyways, you guys got a close-up version of the hermit crabs. That guy is on the move right now. He's going straight to the water. That guy is gone. <laughs> Holy, he's going right to the water. He's not gonna go too far. And also guys, if you wanna see us bring some of these guys home, comment down below right now or give this video a like. That lets me know that you guys enjoy these guys and that we're gonna do more of it. And if you guys wanna see some go in the pool pond or aquarium, comment down below right now and let me know. Big hermit crab is entering the water. Look at that, that is just so majestic. And these hermit crabs will actually outgrow their shells and transfer into other shells when they find one. But wow, that is, that's awesome. So yep, one of the hermit crabs going right back to his piling. We're gonna let him go. And then we got this bigger guy who's also gonna go right back into the piling. Now hermit crabs can be out of the water. They actually will go on land. So um, them being out of the water does not harm them in any way. They can actually hold water in their shells as well to keep them moist and everything. We're actually gonna be taking this guy for the pool pond and seeing how he does. We're gonna give, we're gonna, just check on him for about two days while he's in the pool pond, see if he's getting along with all the other animals in there and if he's doing good himself. If not, of course, we will bring him back and release him. You don't really find stuff like that often. When you do and you do have the right stuff for it, I'm, you know, can't, can't miss out on an opportunity like that. So we're gonna be taking him home, seeing how he does. If he does good, we'll keep him as our new pet and we'll get some names going down for him. If not, we'll bring him back to the same exact area. I promise you, and we'll film it all and we'll release him back into the wild. You guys let me know what you are. Let's head home and get him into the pond. And we are back at the house. We got our giant hermit crab over here. And like I said, guys, I don't think we are going to be keeping this animal. I specifically just want to see how he rea reacts in the pond. And then if you guys do want to see him in this pond and he's doing healthy in this pond, and I see that he's doing healthy, then yes, we can definitely keep him. But if I see that he's not doing good in this pond, then we're going to have to release him. So yeah, we're going to get a bucket set up for him, drip line, and then I'll see you guys in 30 minutes. Giant hermit crab, here he goes. And once he's in the pond, hopefully maybe he, can, he will come out and then we can get some more shots of him. Here he goes. Oh my. This is 
is a giant red hermit crab. And they're actually, where you find them is like South Florida. So it says there, I'll read it actually. It's hairy red body, massive lobster-like claws, and blush stocked eyes are a study in crustacean. The right claw is larger and most dominant claw. However, the size of the claws differ. Okay, okay, okay. They're found out of the Cape Lookout, North Carolina to Southern Florida. Exactly, and that's where we live right now, Southern Florida. And look at all the barnacles. I actually even saw me and Chris, when Chris first found him, we saw little crabs actually living in his shell. He was like sharing his shell with other little hermit crabs. It was really cool. He's actually really, really cool. Watch, he's gonna come right back out. See that? And he's kind of just like a rock. It's actually cool because I'll see the trigger fish. Like there will be like um, little like barnacles and stuff on his shell. And the trigger fish will go and eat the barnacles off and kind of clean his shell for him. So it's like, it's a whole little ecosystem in this pond. And the stingrays are doing good. As you can see, they're all active swimming around, both of them. We got our emperor snapper over here, all these feisty, ready to eat. We got a bumblebee grouper in his cave, boom with trigger. Our eels are always in these little rocks. And then we got our two lion fish right here. So yes, we got our new hermit crab. If you guys do want to see us keep this hermit crab in the pool pond, comment down below and let me know. If not, we'll bring him back and we'll release him in the same attack spot that we found him. So you guys comment down below you want to see them in the pool pond or if you don't. But it is legal to keep them, so we would be fine if we did keep them. I'm going to be keeping an eye on him, making sure he's not messing with the fish we have in the pond and himself. Obviously, this is a very cool creature. Wouldn't want anything happening to him. But he looks like he's doing awesome so far. So we're going to keep him in here and let you guys decide. But with that being said, make sure you guys like this video, comment down below, and we'll see you in the next one. See ya!